It's all about the hair. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This has been the most requested video because the, the other time on Snapchat I had made a combination of a few hair oil because I was going to you know, apply a hair mask and everybody on Snapchat kept sending me messages asking me exactly what the secret oil was and believe me, there is no secret oil. This is not an oil that I have discovered that I went into the woods and you know found a magic bean that is going to transform your hair. It is something that I read about and I thought of trying it and for the last one year I did and it has brought me tremendous results. So I thought I should just you know make a video and discuss exactly the things that you should be doing to promote hair growth and the things that you can do to prevent hair loss so i'm not try 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 true what okay i'm no trichologist or let's say i'm no hair doctor to be giving you advice so please just don't come and bite my head off uh you know with your uh, knowledge about hair I'm just telling you exactly what has worked for me uh, for the last two years I have completely paid attention to my skin and um, you know to my hair because moving from you know India to London uh, my hair took a huge beating I was losing a lot of hair to a point that there was extreme hair thinning and I could see like a little you know, uh, I could see my scalp on the back of my head and it completely freaked me out. So, you know, I started reading a lot about what is good for your hair, what is good for your skin. I still have a long way to go where skin is concerned, but you know, I did my research, I did my homework, and then I realized that these are the few essential things if I follow, it will work for my hair. So I know that you're going to, um, I know each and every one has their own rules and their own knowledge about you know what promotes hair growth but I'm just telling you mine. So before I start off with you know blabbering about my points uh, you know I just wanted to tell you if you have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe uh, you know hit that subscribe button uh, comment like follow me on my Instagram my you know my Twitter account and my snapchat and you'll be seeing a lot more content in my channel so let's get right into this now I shall be discussing the Nazi rules of do's and don'ts for your hair the number one rule for your hair is if you see that your hair is thinning really badly, if it is extreme hair loss, that you need to take your fingers and just brush your hair very gently. And then if you see on your hair, on your, you know, on your palm, that there is more than about, you know, six to seven strands, then you are suffering from hair loss. So what you need to do when it comes to that situation is go to your doctor, go to a trichologist or go to your, first of all, go to your GP and find out because your trichologist will send you to a GP just to get a blood test taken. Find out if at all you have sugar problem, if you have, it could be, it could be any factor, number of factors in your system uh, that, you know, triggers hair loss. Um, let's say thyroid, a main cause of uh, hair loss, PCOS, uh, you know, the polycystic ovarian syndrome, that also is a major factor for hair loss. And another third thing is if you're iron deficient, if you're anemic, oh my God, that is a killer to your hair growth. Once you find out exactly what is the problem that's in your system, you can address it well. Your doctor will be able to give you vitamins, your doctor will be able to prescribe certain medicine, your trichologist will be able to prescribe what, you know, uh, what medication will help you uh, to stop this uh, problem of yours. If you're anemic, obviously you'll get your iron tablets and if you have PCOS, then you know, there are various other treatments for that. If you have thyroid, you address that. So according to that, you go about with it. When I had hair loss, I did go for a blood test and I got to know I was extremely anemic and I started taking my iron tablets and I started like, you know, um, I went regularly for my, you know, full body checkup because the more you age, it gets a little more difficult. Your hair doesn't listen to you as much to your vitamins and your diet. As much as people keep on repeating, you're talking about dietitians and nutritionists, they keep on repeating about how scary sugar is for your body. 
it is absolutely true and we just don't tend to listen especially me because I love my chocolates I love my refined sugar I love my donuts I love my you know uh, custard pies and whatnot but to be honest and to be fair those are just danger foods for your system for your body the more you can just you know restrict yourself from refined sugar and the more you can add a little more healthier food into your diet that is you know green leafy vegetables green beans soya oats uh, nuts such as walnuts and almonds that is so good for your hair I mean the more you incorporate such healthy food like chia seeds and you know um, uh, pumpkin seeds into your diet it is only going to benefit you also if you can add you know like if you can take additional supplements to help your hair that is you know biotin and vitamin A vitamin D if you can take a vitamin D supplement as as well as biotin which is the key factor to produce you know amazing hair keratin to it it basically protects your hair from heat it just it just promotes hair growth it makes your hair look really healthy so it is very important to have biotin in your system also omega-3 fatty acids those are also very important which comes with salmon and avocado essential fatty oils that is your body needs it so don't stay away from it because you know certain fats are good for your system so number three helping you you know not damage your hair more that is your hair straighteners and your hair dryers the myth goes that the more you straighten your hair and the more you you know you dry your hair with a hair dryer you will lose a lot of hair it is not true because it depends on how well you take care of it yes it's okay to straighten your hair and it is okay to you know dry your hair with a hair dryer but make sure that you do not apply extreme heat onto your scalp the moment you take a hair dryer and you put it in a distance of you know uh, just very close to your scalp and you apply extreme heat you damage the roots of your hair and that is something that there is no way you can rectify that because what happens is it makes your hair really weak it opens the pores in your scalp and it just doesn't help in just you know in grabbing the hair follicles tightly onto your scalp so that is that is a big no-no when you dry your hair or when you apply heat make sure it is from mid length all the way to you know to the end and when you do that apply a heat defense spray I use the Tresemme uh, heat defense spray because this takes a uh, you know to a temperature till about 230 it protects your hair and I love this it, for me I have spoken about this in my favorites video I, I always apply this I spray it and then I brush it so that you know it evenly distributes all over my hair and then I apply a heat uh, you know a straightening iron uh, but I use a hair uh, heat defense spray I love the Tresemme one it has it really helps when you use a heat defense spray of use whatever of your choice and make sure even when I straighten my hair it is always from mid length all the way to the end I never apply heat onto my scalp because that is completely dangerous for your hair coloring your hair uh, you know um, all that you know extreme hair coloring and you know bleaching your hair and all that it it's it's just a myth that you know the more hair color that you do you're going to damage your hair it is not that as because your scalp is not affected when you're coloring your you know you're coloring your hair you know bleach it has its chemicals and that can work against you but if you do that once in a while it's not a problem but every time you color your hair please follow it up with a good hair mask you know a good protein treatment for your hair and that should help you number four so many uh, you know so many girls young girls they go for hair extensions that's fine to get hair extensions if it's like a temporary one but the permanent hair extensions completely damage your hair the one that you know sustains for about a month or two or even three months that damages your hair because when you attach something to your natural hair it weighs it down and then it causes breakage I have a friend who went for hair extensions and she completely regretted it after six months because the amount of hair that came out with a hair extension it was alarming so another thing that I have noticed girls doing is they tie their ponytail so high and it oh it, 
<laughs> doesn't it give you a headache it just like stretches out your hair it is fine to do a ponytail I love to like you know tie my hair into a ponytail but when you stretch when you give that give yourself that snatched look it it actually it promotes receding hairline and once that happens to your hair my there's nothing that you can do receding hairline is the scariest thing for any girl to suffer from and you know you you will notice women who go for receding I mean when they go for the really snatched high ponytail you know that stretches out their hair all the way that pulls their hair back from you know from the uh, scalp section you will see them their hairline goes like higher and higher so you need to watch out and make sure that your ponytail is nicely nice and tight but not too tight that you know it just stretches out your forehead all the way to the back the next point uh, besides the hair oil that you have to do which is quite important for your hair I also apply a hair mask what I do is I just take a basic hair mask this is the Tresemme uh, breakage defense uh, I love this hair mask because it smells really good and it makes my hair really soft so once a week maybe during the weekend I take maybe two tablespoons of this and I mix it with organic coconut oil make sure that your coconut oil is organic and make sure <laughs> make sure that you don't use cooking coconut oil on your scalp have a little more brains uh, you know just take an organic coconut oil and you know mix it up with your hair mask and then I take an avocado I mash that I put that in the hair mask and I just apply this from root to tip and I leave it for about an hour before I wash it off Believe me this works because the avocado is filled with nutrients. It protects your hair You know, it just makes your hair really silky and shiny and all the nutrients helps in promoting natural keratin on your hair And I love the hair mask because it smells beautiful and coconut oil You know, I could sing praises about coconut oil and it still wouldn't be enough So um, I know you guys are going to beat me for you know because I have prolonged my do's and don'ts and my Nazi rules but the oil that I wanted to talk about is uh, the Jamaican black castor oil. This oil has completely, completely changed my life. It has saved me in ways that I cannot even, I can't even explain. I was reading about castor oil, how good castor oil is for the hair. And I came across an article uh, to, uh, where the person, I don't remember who it was, I think it was a hair doctor that was talking about Jamaican black castor oil that is used for cancer patients. So when they applied this black castor oil on cancer patients, you know, um, who was completely, obviously because of the, um, you know, radiation, they went completely bald and they realized that within two months they could see hair growth and the hair follicles that was forming on their scalp was so strong that it, you know it was dense and it was strong and that completely surprised them so they it, Jamaican black castor oil is known for its benefits because first of all the you know it, the beans are roasted and um, second of all if you smell it it's got this very black dark nutty flavor to it so it's not um, it could be a bit offensive to people who apply it and it is much much more thicker than a normal castor oil but it has got so many benefits uh, as in if you even if you have arthritis and you apply Jamaican black castor oil and you massage your legs with it it is known to actually you know heal you from arthritis it is also known to take scars away that is if you have stretch marks and you have acne scars or whatever it is or you know it is known to like you know help you or you know eradicate scarring but I wouldn't suggest putting castor oil on your face because castor oil is known to promote hair growth and you wouldn't want facial hair I mean that is something that scares me but I do apply the castor oil on my eyelashes on my eyebrows and I've seen such tremendous results and this black castor oil has changed my hair to an am I've seen amazing results uh, as in it stopped my hair fall it made my hair very shiny very silky and um, 
it also okay my hair almost 60% of my hair I have like extreme gray by DNA my dad has passed it on to me and my brother so I have to color my hair regularly ever since I have started using the Jamaican black castor oil I have seen that the new hair that is coming up is not white and that completely consoles me in in ways that I can't even explain how I uh, apply the Jamaican black castor oil is I take uh, I take about maybe say a tablespoon of the black Jamaican castor oil and then I take a tablespoon of regular castor oil and then I take two tablespoons of uh, organic uh, coconut oil and I put it in the microwave for just a few seconds so that it's warm not not it shouldn't be extremely hot it should just be warm and then I just apply it all over my scalp and I give my my head a very good massage once I apply it all over the roots I never apply my oil over here on the center of my hair the two places that I apply oil is right here on my scalp and right on the end uh, you know I soak uh, the ends of my hair in uh, in that tub of oil and I just tie up my hair but before I soak my the ends of the hair I give my scalp a very good massage because that is so important just like how facials and you know you get your facials done or you know you like to go for your spa treatment or massage for your body your scalp also requires that much amount of time you know m massage the scalp it promotes blood circulation and that promotes hair growth. I hope that this really helps you. I hope you buy the Jamaican black castor oil. It is easily available in Amazon. Uh, you can also go to, you know, uh, supermarkets basically, you know, where the whole sections where they sell Jamaican food and, you know, products and maybe you can find that there. But online you can get everything. So yeah, that's about it guys. I shall see you in my next video. Uh, there's so much more content coming up for you. Uh, I want to, um, you know, let you guys know on the best eye cream possible that will eradicate your, you know, dark circles and will help you not have any wrinkles around your eye area, no crow feet, nothing. And this oil, uh, this small little eye cream that I made at home has is the bomb so i'm going to maybe make a video if you'd like to see that just leave a comment below you guys also know that there is a giveaway i'm giving um a few ColourPop products some of my favorite this is uh from kathleen lights collaboration with ColourPop, and i'm also giving a kylie lip kit uh dolce k away uh i shall leave the link of my previous video in the description box do participate in it go by the rules it is only for my subscribers so you need to subscribe to my channel and you need to also follow me on instagram and repost the picture all the rules and regulations are there in the video and that shall be in the description box until later love you and leave you the phone is ringing right now i have to go anyway um i better go right now bye guys love you take care